everyone, I'm Gina, and I'm going to be reading you a story called Corduroy today. It's the story my dad read to me before bed every night, so I hope you love it just as much as I do. And Corduroy is here with us to listen to the story today. So, Corduroy by Don Freeman. He actually wrote the words in the book and drew all the pictures. Let's start. Corduroy is a bear who lived in the toy department of a big store. Day after day, he waited with all the other animals and dolls for somebody to come and take him home. There he is with all the other animals. The store was always filled with shoppers, buying all sorts of things, but no one ever seemed to want a small bear in green overalls. Then one morning, a little girl stopped and looked straight at him. Oh, Mommy, she said. Look, there's the very bear I've always wanted. Not today, dear, her mother sighed. I spent too much already. Besides, he doesn't look new. He's lost the button on one of his shoulder straps. It looks like Corduroy's missing a button right here. Corduroy watched them sadly walk away. I don't know, I didn't know I lost a button, he said to himself. I'll go see if I can find it. How sad must poor Corduroy be? Late that evening, when all the shoppers had gone and the doors were shut and locked, Corduroy climbed carefully down the shelf and began searching everywhere on the floor for his lost button. You can tell it's dark outside because all the windows are dark. Suddenly, he felt the floor moving underneath him. Quite by accident, he had stepped onto an escalator and up he went. Could this be a mountain, he wondered. I think I've always wanted to climb a mountain. Have you ever wanted to climb a mountain? He stepped off the escalator and it reached the floor and there before his eyes was the most amazing sight. Tables and chairs and lamps and rows and rows of beds. This must be a palace, Corduroy gasped. I've always wanted to live in a palace. Have you always wanted to live in a palace? He wandered around admiring the furniture. This must be a bed, he said. I've always wanted to sleep in a bed. And he crawled up into a large, thick mattress. All at once, something small and round caught his eye. Why, here's my button, he cried. And as he tried to pick it up, but all like all the other buttons on the mattress, it was tied down tight. He yanked and pulled with both paws until pop, off came the button and off the mattress corduroy flopped. Uh-oh, he's falling right off the bed. Bang, onto a tall floor lamp. Over it fell with a big crash. There he is, right under the floor lamp. Corduroy didn't know it, but there was someone else awake in the store. The night watchman who's like a little security guard, was going round, was doing his rounds on the floor above. When he heard the crash, he came dashing down the escalator. Now who in the world was that? He exclaimed. Somebody must be hiding in here. Uh-oh, do you think he's going to find corduroy? He flashed his light under all the beds until he came to the biggest bed of all. And there he saw two fuzzy brown ears sticking up under the cover. Who do you think it is? Hello, he said. How did you get upstairs? Do you think he would have guessed that Corduroy took the escalator? The watchman took Corduroy under his arm and carried him down the stairs and set him on the shelf in the toy department with the other animals and dolls. He looks pretty tired in this picture. He had a big night.
Corduroy was just waking up when the first customers came into the store in the morning. And there, looking at him with, with a wide, warm smile, was the same girl he'd seen the day before. She ran all the way up four flights of stairs, into her family's apartment, and straight into her own room. So the same girl remembered Corduroy and came back. Corduroy blinked. There was a chair and a chest of drawers alongside a girl-sized bed. There was a little bed, just the right size for him. The room was small, nothing like that enormous palace in the department store. This must be home, Corduroy said. I've always wanted a home. Lisa sat down. With Corduroy in her lap, she began to sew a button on his overalls. I like you the way you are, Lisa said, but you'll be more comfortable with that shoulder shot fastened. You must be a friend, Corduroy said. I've always wanted a friend. Me too, said Lisa, and she gave him a big hug. All right, my friends, so that was the end of the story. I hope you loved it so much. Have a great day.